Hey guys, so it's April 9th and there are some really awesome things that are happening in uh, the garden area. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's going on. And well, yeah. All right, so look, this is, these are the eggplants that I planted here in this little, um, this little mini bin. Now this guy's got a flower that's starting to come out on him. See, so I think we're gonna get some eggplants from from these guys from these guys soon this is the quince tree it's actually one of the best looking trees that, one, that, guy, that stick doesn't have any leaves on it but the leaves are really green I like it these are the Roma tomatoes now oh, let me let you guys in on something I decided to go ahead and use some uh, it's called fish emulsion and it's like fish poop and my dad's like, oh yeah, it's really good for your tomatoes. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and put fish poop on my tomatoes. So don't tell anyone I did that because some people are kind of sensitive to eating stuff that was grown with fish poop. Um, but they're looking green. So they're looking a lot better than uh, last time when they were kind of like stringly. Except for this guy. He's doing the least well out of all of them. But other than that, they're looking green and they're looking nice. Okay, now... Oh wait, this is the mystery tree, but the mystery tree is branching out all over the place. Look at how big it is. Woo! It's humongous. Mystery tree. Okay. Now these are the beefsteak tomatoes. This one's got a flower on it. I did the the fish emulsion with this one as well. See? Some of these have flowers. These this this one's big. That one's big too back there. Here's the apple tree. Apple tree's doing pretty good. It hasn't started giving flowers yet, but the other one in my yard started giving flowers, so that's it's pretty cool. And the other one I haven't shown you guys, but it's like way off over there. It's next to a pomegranate tree. Maybe I'll show you guys right now because the freaking those are doing awesome. Okay, so now here, these are the jalapenos, and I also planted since in the back row back there we had a bunch of casualties with watermelons. Well, there's just a bunch of dirt, and I had some extra plants laying around. So I went ahead and planted, I think this is a chile de arbol, and this one is a highlander pepper. <laughs> look at the pepper on that! Look at this is, look at my pinky. It's as big as my pinky. Like, I'm putting it right up next to it. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah guys, and the reason I, I, I was gonna record this yesterday and upload it yesterday, but it was really windy, like crazy windy here. So I was like, nah, I'll just, I'll just wait till, till today. It's alright, and then look, oh, this is like an invading plant. This one right here. He's like a weed, but I don't want to pull him because he's actually pretty cool. Look at, and this here's another Highlander pepper. That one's doing, that one's doing awesome as well, but that one's like curved. See? Okay, now here are the jalapenos that actually started sprouting. This guy's got flowers on him, but next to him, here we got these jalapenos. Jalapenos, jalapenos, little babies, little babies. This guy hasn't got any, any yet. But yeah, and then the watermelons are back there. Okay, and then look, my brother start, my brother, brother grew these little like gourds from a seed. I don't know what he's gonna do with them, but yeah. There's this guy, purple plum. Oh, let me show you guys. Um, yesterday I had one of these. Oh, look. Okay. So like you see, here are the purple plums. It's like a little plum. They're not supposed to come out of the tree, but they do. See? I don't know if you could eat them or not. Okay, you could eat them. Look, that's how they look inside. Focus. You see my big teeth marks? Oh, it looks like a face. But yeah, look. I'll give you guys a little taste test. Mm. Let's hope it's not poisonous. Okay, very tart. Very sweet. Or not sweet, sour, I mean. Bitter. Well, there's that. But not supposed to, they're not supposed to come out of these things, but the, um, out of this purple plum tree, but they do. Look, there's no one right here. They look like little cherries, actually. But they don't taste like cherries, so, huh. <laughs> uh, leave a bad taste in your mouth, but, I mean, they're probably something to chew on. Hmm, probably not that bad. Okay, so, let me stop rambling here. These are the jalafuegos. We haven't, we haven't had any jalafuegos yet to start hatching, but, yeah. And my stupid brother, well, I don't want to say stupid, but 
he, I don't know why he did this, but yesterday, the day before yesterday when it was really windy, he was like, okay, I'm gonna come out and water. Or no, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, it was windy, but um, he came out and watered. I was like, can you water him for me? He's like, yeah. Well, he came out and the way he watered, like I usually water like close down to the ground, just like go over it and then go over it with a little water hose. No, he gets in like, and he like sprays it all. So we went and sprayed them and then these little dudes, they started getting loosened in the ground. So I had to put some dirt to hold them there. I still need to water these guys again, but I needed to put some dirt down to hold them because they were getting all loose and they were wobbling. Ah, oh well. But, yeah. And you're going to see a bunch of these, especially as we keep on going. A bunch of these things. I don't know what they are. They're like, uh... Okay, well, it doesn't want to focus, but they're just like little, little, um... I don't know, weeds or something. Uh, I just leave them. It's whatever. Guys, look at this. This, look, I'm going to get, I'm going to go back here. <laughs> look at that. It's like the greenest monstrosity we have. This is the apple pear. Look at how green these leaves are. Look at how big they are. And then look, little pears on, on here. Little pear, little pear right there. Little, little, little itty bitty pear. Man, there's like pears everywhere, see? Ah, that's gonna be great. These are the chile de arboles, right here in the cantaloupes in the back, so you guys can see. No development so far from these guys as flowers, as far as flowers go. They're just stagnant. And then here is the peach tree I showed you guys last time. It's got a bunch of peaches. The peaches actually are growing in size, see? So now, these are about this. You can see the size of these. Um, I'm trying to look for the biggest one. Um, these on the end look pretty big, see? Compared to my finger. It's like a marble size, a little bigger than a marble. But it's covered in them, look. It's just covered in little peach things. In little, well, in little peaches. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now here is the most productive area of the um, of these boxes. See, we got the cantaloupes in the back. And see what I was telling you guys about? Bunch of those little guys. But yeah, cantaloupes in the back. And then every single one of these, as far as I know, has a pepper on it. See, so pepper there, pepper here, pepper here. And these guys are curved for some reason. Um, this guy's got a little bitty pepper right there. Uh, pepper here, that one's not curved. Pepper here, not curved. Pepper there, pepper there. Oh, let me go over here. Pepper there, these don't seem curved as bad. Some of them are curved really bad like this one. See? Some of them are, I don't know what determines the curvature of the chilies themselves. But, yeah. All right, now here's the apricot. Apricot, see? Yeah, he's got, this guy's doing well, I don't know what's bugging him though he doesn't seem to be as full as the other trees maybe it's because he's small and we had planted him this year uh we planted him this year we planted this plum this year uh probably because of that they haven't been able to root in well we only planted them like a week before i started filming these so no the day before i started filming these is when we planted them so yeah this is what it looks like from over here ditch bank is pretty cool and then well, I found out what this is. It's a, um, a mint, like a spearmint. So it's like you take off one of these leaves and you like rub it around and then, mmm, smells like uh, minty stuff. Okay, now the, the, look at like my little, um, my little grape. See, my little grape's been growing. It's actually starting to bend down. And if I could get him to go that way when he's long enough, take him out that way. But yeah, he's been growing. See, he's got his little arms right here. Look, he's got a little arm. So he'll start. He's, he's reaching because he's starting to lean. So um, he's going to grab onto this first. I know it. He's going to grab onto that. And then I'll just let him go. He'll go that way. Just whatever. Do your thing. Showed you guys the plum. And the little, uh, what are these? Yeah, the Jalafuegos over here. No development from the Jalafuegos in that regard. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but I planted this little dude a while ago in the ditch. It's a jalapeno. See? In the bucket. He just kind of sits there. Okay, now let me show you guys some of the tomatoes that my brother's been growing. He's been putting all sorts of chemicals on here. Oh yeah, look! My brother's been growing these strawberries, look. Strawberries. 
And then this one's got these little ones down here, strawberries. They're just in these buckets too. Strawberries. Yeah, okay, now look at these tomatoes. He, he planted these, well, they're, they were growing the same age, so these, these are the same age as mine. The difference being, he put so many chemicals on them, they just start exploding. So look at, look at the size of this thing. Look at, it's like a little bush. Look at, these things are massive. Look, this one's the biggest one. Look at. And then he went ahead and he's growing lettuce. Itty bitty lettuce. And you go ahead and see his uh, Highlander peppers right here. See, this guy's not doing too well, but. Highlander peppers all the way down. Oh, this one's humongous. Oh my God. Just shoddy camera work, guys, look at that. Size of my pinky. See, all the way down. Same thing over here, he's got his jalapenos. Okay, yeah, see he's just got them all laid out pretty well. Okay, let me show you guys the other area. Man, and usually like, see, cause we got this big old backyard back here. I think this is like two yards, so. Benefits of living in West Texas, guys, you get big yards. Um, but we got this big yard and my dog likes to come back here cause there's a bunch of grass and stuff. But then she steps all over the plants and starts eating them. So I can't bring her back here too much. Well, unless I'm like constantly watching her. See, here is the zone three area. Got a little sprinkler set up so it just psh, 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 sprinkles out. You see the tomatoes here. I think they need more sun because they're reaching for the sun. These are the Roma tomatoes, I think. And look, you can go ahead and see the uh, Islander peppers. Got Highlanders all the way down. These guys are all like super curved, so maybe they, they grow towards the sun. The peppers. But yeah. These are all of them, guys. So yeah, it's April 9th, I believe. And, whoa, what is this? What is that? Something's growing out of the ground. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Well guys, it's April 9th and this is what we have. Now, hopefully within the next couple weeks or whatever, we're gonna be able to see some more development from many other um, variations of the plants that we've planted here. Such as the jalapenos and the chile de arbol and hopefully tomatoes soon. So. Yeah guys, any criticism or advice, preferably constructive criticism, that could help me improve uh, gardening or anything related to this that would benefit me, I would gladly appreciate. So, yeah guys. Oh well, oh, I just did like a turn around, so. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Pshh, pshh.